Okay, be honest with me. How ready were you to click away? And that was only three seconds. Imagine if it was 30 seconds or even three minutes. And yet, this is what a lot of streamers do. They sit in silence playing their game until their view counter ticks up and then they start talking. But by then it is too late because the view counter takes minutes to update. For every starting streamer, talking to an empty chat is extremely difficult. And every video will give you the same tip. Talk to your chat as if there's a hundred viewers there no matter how many there really are. However, what most other videos on this topic won't tell you is that it is super easy to train. During this video, we will start with the basics, but the basics will only get you so far. So we are gonna level up your chat interaction and I promise you, if you apply the final tip, you will master the craft talking to chat. My name is Mathman and this is Content Delta. So the question becomes, how do we level it up? Well, talking about what you're doing in the game is not the only thing you could talk about, is it? Especially as a starting streamer, most people will be watching you for the game you're playing, not the person you are. That comes later. So we need to trigger chat to talk about the game. If you are playing a battle royale like Apex Legends, then you can talk about what hero you're playing, why you're dropping in specific areas, or talk about the guns you are using. And this expands to all games, you can always talk about new characters, DLCs, patches, or things that happen in the community. Doing this allows you to get opinions from your chat that you can then agree or disagree with and have a discussion rolling. Like for example, why the L-Star is the best gun in Apex Legends. You know, because it is. Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. But eventually this gets stale, right? No, it doesn't. As long as you know there are new or different people in chat, you can recycle topics again and again and again. Because these other people will want their opinions heard as well. And that just reignites the whole discussion. And that is actually a lesson you can use for all the levels we are going through today. Just make sure you are genuine and you are consistent. The worst thing that can happen is you being disingenuous. Like you lying about your favorite Marvel superhero. Be genuine and be honest. Actually, this is a perfect way to start talking about the next topic. We're gonna level it up with pop culture. When I say pop culture, that doesn't mean that you need to be up on every trend on TikTok or every series or movie on Netflix. Although, it could be. As you are the person that guides these conversations, that also means you can foster a community with similar interests to yourself. I for one absolutely love sci-fi and fantasy, from Doctor Who to Lord of the Rings and from Dungeons and Dragons to Star Wars. So those are topics that will often come up in chat because I have gathered a community around me of people that also like these things. So be it football, music, movies, it doesn't matter. You can talk about them on stream. If the topic happens to resonate with one of your viewers, you might turn a lurker into a chatter or a chatter into a regular just because they love talking to you about it. When you're talking about pop culture like this, be sure to also check with your audience what they enjoy, what their interests are, or if they have strong opinions on a certain topic. But when you do this, you need to do this right. Asking individuals or the whole chat what their interests are is not gonna get any response. Your viewers need a strong reaction to turn from a lurker into a chatter. So don't ask them, hey chat, what do you think about Star Wars? And then you sit there, awkwardly, in silence, waiting for an answer. Instead, you need to have an opener. Something that you can talk about yourself without your viewers interacting. But when they do, you can immediately jump into it and actually start the conversation. So instead, you may be talking about Star Wars and go, You know, chat, my least favorite character in all Star Wars movies is Han Solo. He is such a womanizer. And Everybody knows he shot first. See what I did there? I started the topic and I can now talk about Han Solo and why he's such a bad character for 15 minutes because I'm a Star Wars fan, so I know a little bit about it. I also said something that tugs on the nostalgia strings. People grew up with these movies. They love these movies, or at least they love the first three, but they certainly have strong opinions. Nostalgia is a very strong weapon that you can use to activate your chat. Childhood TV shows, games, 
and music are great topics to discuss on your stream. Say that you were an NSYNC fan instead of a Backstreet Boys fan, and you know what? Never mind. If you get that reference, hello there, fellows 90s kid. Anyway, there's one thing we just did in that example which you might have noticed, and that is level three. But before we move up a level, why not go grab yourself an extra star downstairs and click that notification bell while you're down there. And if this is helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like and perhaps leave a comment with your favorite childhood TV show. Now onto the next level, and that is a double whammy. Unpopular opinions and comparisons. People have really strong opinions when you try and compare things, no matter how small they are. And it will draw any avid lurker out of the woodworks and into your chat when you start talking about unpopular opinions. Especially if these unpopular opinions are relatable to your viewers. Easy topics are food and drinks, pop culture, or even daily life. Pineapple on pizza? Check. Vegemite or Marmite? Check. FC Barcelona or Real Madrid? Check. The Office UK or The Office US? Check. And for you Brits out there, tea, milk or no milk, double check. These are all great topics to bring up in chat because these are things that average people like you and I have opinions on, and so will your viewers. However, as per usual in these videos, this does come with a little bit of a caveat, and that caveat is common sense. Don't talk religion, don't talk politics, protect your community from prejudice and discrimination. Controversial and unpopular opinions have to stay fun and lighthearted so that anybody can join in. One that came up in my chat recently and had chat raving was cereal first or milk first. Now you think that's the end of that. But then somebody said, I eat my cereal with water. And I know somebody that eats it with orange juice. It is these sort of prompts that can really get your chat together and get them talking. And just like with Newton's first law of motion, an active chat is more likely to stay active. So once this topic runs its course, steering the discussion to a different topic becomes so much easier. But what if all else fails? Then there is one more level to explore, personal experiences. If you are genuine on your channel, then you can connect very well with chat just by being yourself and talking about experience you've had throughout your life. You can talk about trips you have taken, cities you have visited, even about simple things such as having to go to the office or having to go to school. It is these sorts of personal experiences, be they funny, emotional or impressive, that can turn a viewer who is there for the game into a regular who is there for you. So talking about your personal experiences is not only a way to activate chat, it also allows your viewers to get to know you better and create a tighter knit community. It is a two for one sale on positive interaction. Oh, and speaking of positive interaction, make sure you stay positive and respectful while streaming. By staying positive, you foster a community that is positive and hopefully you avoid toxicity within that community. While there was a time, especially on Twitch, where rage gaming was big, that era has long since passed. And people are simply not looking for that experience anymore. That doesn't mean that you need to be happy-go-lucky all the time. It just means that when you have a strong negative reaction because you die early in a game or you lose that 1v1 for the win in the battle royale, you react and then shake it off. Just leave it behind. No thinking about it anymore. Move on. Okay, if you stayed with me for this long, that means you are ready for the final tip, the tip that will make you a master of talking to chat. And it's one final skill for you to develop. Segway, segway, segway. Because if you reach the end of one topic, you don't want chat to go silent again. What you want is for chat to stay chatting, to keep being interactive. And for that, you need to be able to shift from one topic to another effectively. So when you're talking about a topic and you feel like it's reaching its end, like it has run its course, your brain already needs to be thinking about the next step to take. The next topic, the next thing that hits a snare and gets your chat back to activity. By doing this efficiently, you may sometimes still end up with a quiet chat. But you will have all the tools in your toolbox to make sure that chat gets active again. And that is what it's all about. Because in the end, a quiet chat 
is not always a bad thing. Especially if you're on a really focused or intense part of your game. And the reason chat is quiet is because they are so involved, so drawn into it. What is bad is a non-engaged chat that just sits there not knowing what to talk about because the silence has gone awkward. But hey, that won't happen to you anymore because you are now a level 5 chat master. And don't forget, learning to talk to chat takes time. But you practice it every time you go live. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell downstairs. And if you do want to make sure chat can hear you while you're talking on stream, then why not check out this video where I help you set up your microphone so you sound great on your stream. And as always, stream better, stream smart.